Hello guys, this is the updated video for the new Nike style tail lights with animation. These are the tail lights, fully unboxed. Now they come with the LED marker lights on the sides. In order to remove the outer tail lights, you will need to remove this plastic trim. This is how it looks from the back. It's held by plastic screws, which can be removed with the help of a flat head screwdriver. These are the plastic screws. Go ahead, remove the plastic panel. You will have to gently pull it. Try not to apply too much pressure. And this is how it looks from the back. In order to remove the tail lights, first remove these trims from both sides. So after you remove these two screws, uh, the 10 millimeter screws over here, simply Grab it from here. Okay, so after you just wiggle it around and it should come out. I loosen this uh, bumper a little bit just to be on a safe side because of these brackets. Sometimes, you know, it just needs a little force to apply when you are uh, pulling it out, but make sure you are doing that gently. You don't want to break these tabs. Just leave them as is. And uh, that's how it looks when you uh, remove the tail lights. Now this is the factory socket, just simply remove it, okay? Uh, there is a tab to it, you press that down, it, it comes out. And another step would be to just squeeze this one in. This is a rubber seal, and there you go. Your tail light is out. Okay, now make sure your car is completely turned off when you are performing this uh, installation. All right, first piece, passenger side, outer light is out. We're gonna replace it with the aftermarket one. Next up is removing the carpet lining. You can remove the whole thing or partially remove the carpet liner, as long as you can reach behind all the necessary areas. It's best to remove the whole thing for easy installation. The plastic liner is held by these plastic push screws. After removing these three bolts, just push the inner light out. There you go. The inner light is out. This is how the back side of the trunk looks after removing the inner lights. Go ahead, install the outer light. Make sure you do not leave any wire behind. Fit it in place. Make sure everything is aligned before tightening the bolts. Okay, now this is the socket, very simple. There you go, you just plug it in. All right, so first step for the outer light is done. Put the bolts back on and make sure the light is installed properly. Next up is inner lights. Go ahead, fit it in place. Make sure the light sits perfectly and align before tightening the screws. And this one, of course, uh, this uh, extra wire comes with it. You connect one end over here okay and then you connect this is the inner light which goes on the, on the on the trunk you connect it over here you are good to go so your turn signal issue should should be solved by with this setup okay so when you remove this in uh, this uh, socket out a lot of people they remove this area okay this whole thing no you, you don't do that you put that back in okay now this is the se version if you remember you're going to be replacing this bulb only okay so you just remove this bulb and that's it. And then you grab this plug and put it in place of the reverse bulb. All right, so sometime if it doesn't work, no problem. Just take it out, take it out from the reverse bulb, okay? Where you originally put it in. Take it out, flip it 180 degrees and put it back in and it, the light should start working. Now for XSE, okay, this, this plug, these two plugs comes for the XSE setup, okay, plug and play. Don't worry about this green, green cable. You, know, you can cut it or tug it somewhere, you know, this green wire is not needed. So when you are connecting this, this uh, socket, this uh, harness with your lights, very easy, just make sure it's aligned, okay? Just make sure white to white and black to black. Okay, here you go. Here you go, You have we have a white wire and a black wire. On this side, white and black. There you go, they're perfectly aligned. Okay, you just put it in, all right? 
to make sure they are perfectly in. And the next one is, now this is once again XSE setup, okay? And then simply, simply connect it to this socket over here to the car. Now, if it still doesn't work, then the problem could be in these copper wires. Okay, these copper wires, sometimes they are on the wrong side. Like for example, we don't know if they're on the wrong side or not, but this is how they look. All right, so you basically grab this copper wire, revolve it to this side. And grab this one, revolve it to this side. All right, and then start it. And then when you insert it in the plug, in place of the bulb, try it. If it works, good. If, the, if it doesn't work, no problem. Take it out, flip it 180 degrees, put it back in, and it should start working. This, this is the one that I was talking about. So you simply connect the supplied wire, okay? This is the wire which comes inside the box, okay? Tail lights. All right, one end go, goes over here. The other end connects over here, okay? And uh, this is it, and okay, so this is connected. Now, this is the main plug from the wire, from the tail light. You simply connect it over here. And that's it.